so we can create brand new documents in this library or we can upload ones that we've already got so you've probably already got lots of resources on your shared drives and all you do is you go to windows explorer find that file whether it's on a shared drive or on your your own desktop and you select that document and just drag and drop it by holding your mouse button down onto the screen you can see how that red square appears when you let go you'll see it says uploading one item and it's done so it's uploaded that document here this is the test document is now on the site and um, if you had multiple documents you can just draw a big square around them and drag them all in in one go and it will also copy across all of those files i could also create a brand new document in here even if you don't have word installed or powerpoint installed on your machine you can still create brand new office documents so to do that we go to the new button and in this case i'm going to choose a word document this will open up Word Online, so even if you don't have it installed on your device, you can still do this. And you can see I can type straight into this document. And as I'm typing, you'll see it says saving. It just saves as you go along. There's no saving button. Uh, there's no save button. It will just save as you type. So every time you type, it says saving and saved. So if your machine fails, you'll still have uh, the latest sentence written in that document. You don't lose it. And at the top here, if I want to give this document a title other than documents, I can just click here, call it this is another test. And that will be the name of this document. Now on the left hand side, you've got this breadcrumb trail here. This will take you back into the year 11 library or it'll take you back up to that English home site. So I'm going to go back into that year 11 library. And you'll see on this page, at the bottom we've got this is another test uploaded into this library and i can do the same sort of thing you know with powerpoint as well or excel i open up a new powerpoint document and again it opens up in powerpoint online so you can do it from any browser and again i can just change the title of it here this is a test presentation And I'll use a breadcrumb again to get back to that year 11 library. And you can see it's created that new presentation in here for people to see.